Hey y'all, welcome back to another mini sober. where today we'll be talking about 25 to Life. Now, this is going to be a little different, as 25 to Life was primarily an online third-person shooter, with gameplay like that of Max Payne, and online matches in the vein of Sony's SOCOM series, in which two teams of cops and criminals go at each other in your standard modes like deathmatch and whatnot. Now, of course, due to original Xbox Live being gone, unless it's revived for the Xbox One's backwards compatibility, I can't review that part of the game. However, it does have a single player campaign that I was able to play, so I'll be reviewing that since the gameplay is about the same. The story has you playing as Freeze, a common gang member who, with his best friend Sean, runs guns and drugs. When his girlfriend wants him to give up the game to be with her and their son, he tells Sean he's done, but Sean convinces Freeze to make one last run so he can frame him and put him in jail. But Freeze escapes, ready to claim revenge. There are four chapters total, each containing three stages. The first and last chapters have you playing as Freeze, while chapter two stars a cop named Williams who's after Sean, then chapter three lets you play as Sean. I'm telling you this now because this is one of the most paper-thin stories I've ever seen in a game. Basically, it's, I'm out of the game. Come on, man, one last run. Okay, I'ma betray you. I'm out of prison. Now you gonna die. That's it. You can tell that the story was an afterthought, and the single player was made as a sort of tutorial for the multiplayer modes. Either way, it's crap. As stated earlier, 25 to Life plays like Max Payne, right down to the similar controls. Thankfully. You have primary and secondary objectives to complete, but all you get is unlockable items for the multiplayer mode that you can no longer play. So you can just complete the main objective and be fine. You have an arsenal of guns to use, ranging from handguns, SMGs, rifles, shotguns, and rocket launchers, as well as explosive and melee weapons. Of course, seeing as how it takes millions of shots to kill anybody, it doesn't matter what gun you use. The biggest flaw, though, is that it's way too short, clocking in at two hours to beat. Granted, it'll probably take you a bit longer if you want to unlock stuff you can't use, but I doubt you will. Truthfully, I kept playing just to see if the ending had some kind of a payoff. Fun fact, it doesn't. Presentation-wise, the graphics are just, well, bland. The characters look like generic thugs and cops, and the levels are just as generic, from ghettos to subways to prisons, hell, even a cartel mansion. On the audio side of things, the voiceover is nothing spectacular, just your usual thug slinging profanity like it's all the rage. I'm out, player. I ain't built for this anymore. God, I ain't gonna let you leave, motherfucker. I made you. We connected for life. I can't be the dope man forever. My seed can't grow up in this street drama. Man, I can't believe you letting a bitch break up our family. This is supposed to be M.O.B. Money over bitches. Come on, dog. Don't disrespect my lady. And you don't have to justify my thug. I know I made a deal with the devil by being in the game. The only standout is the soundtrack. If you're a fan of rap and hip-hop, the game's licensed soundtrack has a bunch of songs from famous artists in the genre. Me not being a fan of the music, though, it did nothing. But you can always turn that off if you want. Overall, 25 to Life is a terrible game. It tries too hard to be a thug life game at a time when that was the popular thing to do, but just comes off as an awful cash-grabbing ripoff. Now again, I didn't get to play the multiplayer half, and that actually might have been a little decent. But if it's anything like the single player, then I doubt it. Just go play any of the other multitude of gangsta shooters. You'll have a better time. And with that, this is the Dolly Popka. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully with a better game than this piece of crap.